here y'all go this is the finished product mm, look at that y'all and i didn't even have to add any more water in there so that mm -hmm. so by me adding it like you know as much as i needed in the beginning it got to right where the desired consistency that i like the sauce to be on so yes look at that y'all Mm, mm, mm. It's so pretty. Yeah, that does look good. Don't it? Let me show y'all Puga's hot dog. Mm -hmm. And you can put whatever you want on there. Look at that, y'all. Stop playing. Don't play. Yes, hey. mm. Look at that. So he put Parmesan cheese on there. You can put any type of stuff you want. See, y'all. Sour cream, lettuce, tomatoes, however you want to top it, onions. I'm telling y'all. Now we're just gonna see what Puga say it tastes like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> y'all have it. Y'all heard it straight from Puga. So, yeah, that's it, y'all. Just, woo, it smells so good. I can't y'all that. Man, no fresh garlics and mm, 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 everything. So, there you have it. This concludes our video. I can subscribe. Hey, what's going on? So, I'm about to prepare Coney allen um the coney the coney sauce so the coney allen sauce for the hot dogs because like i told y'all previously we hustle so what we do is um we're doing hot dogs all type of different flavors and stuff and um let me show y'all everything that y'all fit in the need these are the garlic cloves you need two of the garlic cloves my nephew um, chopped it up for me. That's what is inside our chopper. So he was able to get it like where it's really fine texture. And I like it like that photo sauce. Even though I'm not eating the sauce because I don't eat meat. But I always have my nephews test. They test anything going out this kitchen. Okay, so then we have, um, one of, we're going to chop up the onions as well. So we have the onions. And you'll need, if y'all see a mark on my arm, it's because my um, they couldn't find my vein. All right, so we have ground turkey. Um, really, people use ground beef, photo sauce, but. Um, it's upside down for them. Uh, really, people use ground beef, photo sauce, but we have ground turkey we fit to use this week. Um, clean bone, clean spoon, um, water because you're going to need water. Um, that sauce, y'all know I don't know how to pronounce it, so let's not play. Um, cumin and cayenne, black peppers, salt, um, ketchup, brown sugars okay. yeah and I'm about to show y'all what y'all fit in this now you're also going to need measuring spoons I'm going to go over the measurements in this video for y'all and I'll have it down below in the description box for y'all Okay, so while everything cold, that's the thing. This would this would make the sauce different. While everything cold, that's when you really want to start mixing and getting all your ingredients together. So you're gonna take your meats and put them on into the um bowl. A cold bowl. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so. Alright. 
Look how pretty that meat is, y'all. That that pretty meat right there. So. Um, the reason we use in turkey is because turkey is an um, more healthier option. Where we hustle at, they a lot of them on, on ground beef. Although they did support us, but they really like they don't like ground meat. Yeah, uh, ground beef. Yeah, he's right. They don't like ground beef. They like turkey. So you gotta cater to the folks. If you want them to cater to you. Okay, so we're going to mash this up. You can karate chop it, whatever you see fit. Or you can, and that's no offense, I'm only playing. I crack jokes on this channel. We laugh all the time. It's like nowadays, everybody take everything so freaking personal. This was just a little joke. Mash with me, mash with me, mash, 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 smash, smash, mash, 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 yes, mash, 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 mash. Okay, then once you did that, make sure you sing your song while you mashing now. Don't be mashing without singing. All right, then we're gonna add the water. Now, um, you supposed to, I'm sorry y'all, sometimes I don't measure things, but just use a cup of water, okay? And it also depends on the consistency that you're looking for. We like ours really grained, you know, smashy. <laughs> that's how we like our smashy. So, that's what it's fitting to be, y'all. So, we're going to... Once you get your water in there, you fit in a turn. Turn it. Turn it. Turn. Turn it. Turn it. Turn down. Turn down. Because, see, you ain't turning nothing up. You turning it down. Turn down. Wind down. Turn down. Wind down. Turn down. Wind down. And, see, this is the consistency that we be looking for. The consistency fit to be different from beef versus turkey. But however, you're still looking for the same end product. Like, I'm finna add just a little bit more water to them because, like I said, we like ours grinding. And if y'all looking for that word, don't look for it because I make up a lot of words. It's just what I do. Being an artist. All right. So, and the basis, the thing of this um, sauce is it adds like something delicious okay here's how i am y'all i don't like things to be plain i've never been no plain jane so i don't like my food to be plain jane so we like to hype it up around these hair parts you know what i'm saying so then when they eat it it's like they're getting a meal on top of a meal yummy yeah, so that's how you want it like I do. I take a lot of pride in what I do, and I want to make sure that I give them something. When they leave, I want them to be happy and full. And when people's full, they happy. Okay? So anybody y'all see miserable, offer them something to eat. That means they hunger. Alright, so once we do that, then we finna add a third cup of ketchup to this thing. Concoction. Alright, y'all? So we gonna add all right, third cup of ketchup. Oh, shh. Sugar. Okay. So. I got that. Of course. Put it on my nerve. He's such a jerk. He's so nerve, y'all. He wanted me to know. <laughs> Yeah, they saw your imperfection. I don't care. I don't proclaim to be no, this ain't no perfectionist channel. Mm mm. Hey, we ain't nothing like that. <laughs> but we get it done, though. We don't play around, but we get it done. But you're going to see a lot of messy imperfections on here. And I don't care. That's what makes it relatable. Okay. 
All right, Chelsea. Getting that um, ketchup in there. You can also use tomato paste. Y'all know it's from the same thing, right? They, they all from tomatoes. Right? All right, so you can use that. Got that in there. We gonna then you want to add your onions, but we gotta um I gotta get my nef to chop them up for me. Then we gonna add um some mustard. So wanna add a tablespoon. Oh, so pretty. That meat so pretty. I got a thing about colors, y'all. Man. Y'all probably looking like, she called that slot pretty. <laughs> Man, I just like the way. Can't never go wrong with a knife. Playing with these this one? Yeah, yeah, just be careful. There you go. All right. Okay. All right, so we had a little technical difficulties with the mustard, but we back in action now. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, y'all. So we got two, I mean, one tablespoon of mustard. Okay. And then we gonna do the uh, minced garlic cloves. That's why I showed y'all earlier that Neff had already prepped for me for this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. That's, hold on, y'all. We already get all together. It's just we having a little equipment failure. He got it. It was locked on. Uh, okay. That's why it keeps going up. All right. Yeah, I hear him. It was locked on. That's why it was doing it. Okay, so we're going to, um, I only use this for the mustard, y'all. So I'm finna dig on in here and use it for the, um, the garlic cloves. You only need two for this recipe. So I peeled them and everything, and then he um, chopped them. Because whenever you do salads or anything, like, well, this is my personal preference. I'm just saying, when we, when I do like potato salads and um, anything of that nature, I try to make my ingredients as fine as possible. That way people aren't tasting like big chunks of everything. I always like my ingredients to be very small. And I think that's one of the things that make my salad pop so well is because they be like, yo, your salads be off the chain. I'm gonna have to show y'all. But I'm kind of not eating a lot of things these days, meats. Um, you know, I, I still eat carbs. I'm not going to tell y'all. I went back on carbs, but I'm going to get rid of carbs little by little. And try to get down to fruits and veggies, y'all. But that's just my personal thing. But, um, so. <clears throat> now, I'm, I'm going to have my nest throw some onions in here. And that way we can um, put the onions in there, too. Because he knows how to chop stuff. All right, I don't, I think then we're gonna have to use those. Okay. All right, y'all. So, um, two tablespoons of this sauce. It's just about. I'm just saying we're not gonna have any onions for the hot dogs. Was my was what I was trying to tell you. Tablespoon, and I'm gonna do one more. Oh, I got it here. Okay, and I 
last two. That type of sauce, y'all, is excellent for beef, steaks, everything. It adds pop to your meat, okay? Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of chile. One teaspoon of cumin. Here the chili, y'all. The chili. And Teaspoon. just did the onions. So we finna put that in now. I like this little chopper, y'all. It's dope. So the onions, you only want like a half a cup. So. That's about a half right there. Okay. And a um, teaspoon of cumin. That's the cumin, you know. And you want to add a little salt, peppers, just to taste. You know, so that means don't overdo it. You just want a little bit in there. Um, okay. All right. Um, okay. Just a little bit like that there. That's your ground peppers right there. And this the salt. Okay, and we're just gonna put a little bit. With salt, I like to do this from baking, so I like to put it in my hand so I don't over salt anything, because that can alter your whole recipe and you don't wanna do that. Okay, and that's that. Then you just wanna mix it up. Let me mix it. Mix it. DJ did. Okay. So, y'all hear that scratching? Stop playing. Even when I ain't trying to. Look. So, we're going to mix it. And then we got it nice and soggy. Now, this is the part right here where you want to put it inside of your, um, your pan. Bring it to a boil first. So, okay, we finna walk it. So, you wanna have your pan um, heating up. Y'all know I cook in cast iron, so <clears throat> these pans, um, we treat them, we treat them with oil. Or, um, I'll show y'all how to do that too. Or you can season them because you want to do that with cast iron because you don't want them to rust. So um, we're going to let that heat up and you want to bring this to a boil. Then you want to turn it down to simmer and allow it to simmer for an hour or an hour and a half. So that's what you want to do. Then we just put it in a glass pot. And we bring it with us. He wants to put the cream. So, um, 
And y'all, and that's it. Let it do what it do on its own. Now, during, we start like once in a while, that's about it, just to keep it from sticking. But, um, real easy recipe, y'all. Anybody can do this. Well, I tell you, ain't no right, wrong way to do it. Unless you just really in there on some. <laughs> I'm Some actual actor. wrong way. <laughs> yeah, unless you ain't following them directions accurately, then that's the wrong way. But other than that, you can do anybody can do it. I try to make recipes on here where you can feel confident enough that anyone can follow them. Okay, so the only thing is though, is if it seems like it's drying out, then you want to add a little bit more water, maybe about a half an hour into it. Uh, but me, I like to put a lot of water in there initially. And that's about it, y'all. We're going to show y'all the end product. And um, we'll catch y'all in like an hour, hour and a half or whatever. But I just want to show y'all it's starting off on high. Well, you know what I'll do. <laughs> I am going to show y'all what it look like when it start boiling. Because it boils quickly, y'all. So what you're doing is like you're just getting it a pre-cook. You know what I'm saying? You know how when you you sear something or when you par-bake something. This the same concept here. See, if you see, I'm going to have my cameraman zoom in for y'all. And, um, and that way y'all can see where it's boiling at. See how it came to a boil? See what I'm saying? The, the turkey's starting to fit talking to y'all. Real talk. And um, y'all can see the steam and everything. That's because that canned iron don't be playing, but I love them. Love them canned iron. So, and y'all also, little nugget, y'all know I try to drop them in every vid. Also, when you cook in cast iron, a lot of the iron will come up you know from the cast iron into your food so <clears throat> someone like me who suffers from like low iron that's why i be trying to you know cooking cast irons a lot okay but yeah that's what you want to do so you want that way until they all start talking to they you know their cousins and them oh you you over there boiling you partying oh shoot we about to party with you so then when they all get the party in and everything and they like yo papa papa pop up pop up they all do their little pop up then that's when you want to start being like okay okay i think y'all turning up I think it's time to turn y'all down so that's what you really you want them to turn up first turn up baby turn up then we're gonna turn down baby turn down okay that's what we're gonna do so don't get nervous this is what you're looking for get anxious don't get nervous get anxious like yeah I want that sauce to get going. So, then you just want to, you always want to stir because you don't, you want it to be, you know. We put the oil in the pan, y'all. A light coat of oil um, just to kind of keep it from sticking. Because turkey don't make its own grease. So, with turkey, it needs a little bit extra love. Uh, and I'm probably going to add just a little bit more water on there. Because um, it's going to dry a little bit. That's the only thing. That's the significant beef, um, difference between beef and a turkey, y'all. But it's all going to come out good. That's all we waiting. We're just going to let it come to a complete boil. Then we're going to come back to y'all in like an hour and a half. Show y'all what this size look like. But that's the only thing you may have to add along the way is water. Especially if you're using turkey. is water. Even with the beef. Maybe water. Or just let it do what it do on its own, baby. But you want it to cook and cook thoroughly. Because that's meat. So... See, even when you start, that's still what you want. But <clears throat> I won't reduce it until all of it is boiling. And I will show y'all that part so y'all can see. But y'all can see they, they starting to get the party started. See, they talking. 
Lord, he got him moving like, oh, I feel you, I feel you, I'm about to jump in. What you doing, you Millie rocking? All right, about to hit you with the uh, two-step. Oh, you doing a be Beyonce cuff it? Okay, about to cuff it too. So <laughs> don't even know. About to hit him with the slow. They think they gonna be cooking like this the entire time. I'm about to break the news to him. Slow and steady, baby, wins the race. Slow and steady. Now, I'm gonna leave y'all with this antidote. So, life's about growth and growth's about change. We're never going to change if we remain the same. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see how it's starting to turn a little bit. See? It's ready to cook, cook. Like, but we can't let it do that. Because you want everything to simmer. And when it's a sauce, you always want sauces to cook nice and slow. Because you want them ingredients to woo, start talking to each other. You don't want nothing to be all, you know what I mean? This is just like a little to get everything started type. See how it's already turning color. That's what you want. Mmm, look at that. Man, oh man. I'm not coming from somebody who can't even taste it, but I can smell though. My nose ain't no joke. That's the tars in me. Mmm. And it's because my eyes are weak, y'all. Oh, no joke. Okay. So there we go. So once it gets like this, this is when I like to turn it down. See what I'm saying? Like, so I like to turn it all the way down. Show them I'm turning it. And and we let it simmer and then you just let it do all that so like I said about an hour hour and a half use your judgment I let it go usually so like an hour 15 and that's it it'll do what it needs to do y'all oh it's gonna it smells so good mm, mm, mm. yes and we'll come back when it all done here y'all go this is the finished product. Mmm.